Hey everybody, how you all doing on today? Happy Tuesday to you all. I pray you guys are doing well. At least it's Tuesday. We're on the ad. I'm not sure if it's Monday, Monday evening, or maybe Wednesday morning where you at. But right here where I'm at, it is Tuesday morning, and um, I pray you guys are doing well on today. Um, listen, I wanted to come on a little fast because I wanted to talk about an area um, in our uh, whatever our businesses are, whether it's a small business, big business, medium sized business, whatever it is, it's just business, you know, that we're doing um, with this gift, gift basket um, thing. And, um, you know, in every uh, business, you know, we are to um, strategize um, in if we have a business plan written out or if we have just a uh, a way to strategize our finances into uh, an area where it is just set aside alone for business causes and expenses. Uh, this is what I wanted to talk about right now. And I actually did talk about this one time before, but it was mixed in with a video. I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, I don't believe I talked about this alone by itself. And I wanted to come back to this because this has been on my mind the last few days, you know, um, as we're out here doing what we're doing, whether it's this area of, you know, uh, anything pertaining to gift baskets, selling, you know, whatever we do in this area for all businesses, we are to, um, to have some, some sort of strategic plan of how we are going to be using our finances, you know, for what we're, um, you know, just for whatever our expenses are, um, and, you know, gift you know, get back designers, you know, you, you be out there on the hunt, you be out there, you know, in the stores. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we could get lost in, um, you know, uh, in the shopping and, and trying to, you know, catch deals and catch deals and, you know, uh, and all things that is wrapped up, you know, in this category of our financial um, duties and our expenses when we are, um, you know, doing what we're doing. So I just really wanted to pinpoint this area because I wanted to bring back to attention um, to, um, I did, I'm not sure. I think this might've been mixed in, um, in a video that I was doing. It might've been combined it with some other things, but I know I have not pinpointed by itself. Um, do you have a strategic plan for your finances and how you um, set aside money to spend for the items, you know, and anything pertaining to your business? Do you have um, a strategic plan for that? You know, do you have um, your finances set aside, you know, that's separate from everything else, from your household expenses, you know, from anything else that you do outside of your business? Do you have a separate um, you know, um, you know, uh, plan, you know, for your finances, you know, I just want to say real fast, you know, that some people are perfectly fine with just, you know, taking money out of their, um, you know, checking account, saving account, you know, in their own personal account, you know, that people, um, you know, may be happy with doing that and they may not have to change a thing about that. But what I noticed that when we are, uh, spending and we're spending from out of our own finances where it's mixed in with all that, that everything we do house you know mortgage car insurance you know medical bills you know uh, food and utilities you know that when we go back and have to sort out you know what we spend if we do it this way you know if people you know set out and take time monthly to, to set out and to go into that that particular uh, personal finance that you may be pulling your money from to see what you spent on your you know your food your your rent your mortgage and all other expenses and trying to pull out all the things that you've done you don't been to be <laughs> you know been to Dollar Tree, you know, been to uh, Dollar General, Burlington, Ross. We've been to all these stores, ordered on Amazon. We done did all these things. We got a long list of these things in our personal finances. So now we got to go back and we got to pull all of that stuff out to see what we actually spent in the business. Whereas you can have your own personal um, uh, uh, business account 
And this is what I want to talk about really, really quickly. And it doesn't take a financial genius, you know, to set aside, you know, a, a particular uh, spending um, uh, uh, plan, uh, a business plan uh, uh, to, you know, deploy your funds out for your business. So this is what I want to say. I'll put you on hold for a second. Okay, so this is what I want to say. Now, um, I'm speaking from experience on this right here, and um, and even um, just in general, that as we're doing what we're doing, you know, it is good to, to have written out, you know, even if it's just a small detail about a business plan and how you plan to spend your money for whatever you're using uh, to, to put into your business. Now, I had um, a, a before I started or before I put this, uh, what I do here, into a business category, I already had a, um, a secure line of credit. And I'm going to tell you what that means in a minute. Um, this was purposely set aside to... Um, uh, for like emergency expenses and um, and also to help build up my credit as well. There was those two combinations of as to why I had my own secure line of credit. Now, what is a secure line of credit? I'm sorry, hold on again. Now, secure line of credit is your own personal money that um, you set aside um, to to. To, uh, to have that for whatever reason you may want to have it. Now, again, um, a secure line of credit is different from a um, a line of credit that you take out from, you know, let's say you're, you're you know, you have a a, a, um, a credit card from, uh, you know, from whatever your favorite, you know, clothing store, you have a, 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 a line of credit from your bank, you have a line of credit from here, you have a line of credit, you have a credit card, you know, from your uh, uh, favorite eating place. You know, these are credit cards where you, um, when at the end of the day, you know, it is not your own money, it is money that we owe out to people. We owe money back to people. We have lenders that we are borrowing money from, and this is how we have these credit cards that, that you know, they run us into debt. You know, and I'm just going to uh, speak uh, on this right now, real fast. I don't have no debt. I don't have no debt in my. You know, it's been going a long time ago, and I've come from a place of when. I first obtained credit cards. Um, I'm going to jump somewhere real fast. When I got out of high school, now nobody warned me about this. Nobody told me about this, you know. And I know you guys may experience this yourself because this is what creditors do when uh, high schoolers, when you when you graduate from high, uh, high school, you know, they start sending you applications for credit cards. And that's what I was getting when I graduated out of high school. All of a sudden, I started seeing mail coming to the house, you know, about, you know, straw bridge clothing or, you know, you can get a line of credit from there. Straw bridges, I don't know if you guys have one where you have, that was my favorite store. I was shopping there and I, you know, right after high school, I had obtained about two or three credit cards and I blew them up because I didn't understand the importance of paying <laughs> on time. I didn't understand the, 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 the um, anything about, um, interest rates and all these kind of things, late charges, you know, and I was just doing my own thing. And I ran myself in a hole at a young age. And when my daughter, my oldest daughter, who is now 30, when she graduated from out of high school, I told her ahead of time, as I wonder, I said, listen, you know, you, you we're probably going to start getting some, um, applications for credit cards and I wanna and I sat down and I had a conversation with my oldest daughter about what it means to to manage your money early in life so you will not have uh, um, issues you know as you go further and further in life you know thinking you know that you know you can handle you know money that you owe out to people in the old kind of way. You know there's a strategic plan, there's setbacks, there are things that they don't tell you, there's the, the small fine print that we don't read. And so guys, for a while, when I was um, young, you know, you know, I didn't know. I didn't know. Nobody didn't really explain it to me, you know. I, I did now. I had a job now. I always had a job when I got out of high school and I've always been working. 
you know, but I didn't have a full-time job when I got out of high school. You know, there's little things that I did and, you know, I went to the service and da, 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 da. And, but I accumulated a lot of, um, uh, financial, um, hardship because of the, the spending. Now, when I'm saying I wasn't like out charge it, charge it all the time, but what I wasn't being mindful about was paying my stuff when I needed to pay and, and, you know, just being lazy about it, you know, teenager, you know, we're just doing our own thing. And, and so when, um, I got on my own and got into, you know, um, my own place, you know, I moved out when I was 24, I got my own place. And, um, then a couple of years later, I had a daughter, my oldest daughter, and, um, you know, my finances was out of whack. And so a couple of times, you know, I had to, you know, I knew at that time that I wanted to fix my credit and to, to get it, you know, it took me many years to get that in order because I was a single parent. I was working full time and, um, I was taking care of all my finances. I was not, you know, I needed a roof over my head. I needed a car. I needed health insurance. I need, I made sure those things was paid up because I didn't, you know, that was something that I had to do, but my credit cards was falling underneath the table. So anyhow, to make a long story short, two times I had to gain um, help into turning my credit um, around. And how many know that out here, you have to have good credit. You, you just, you know, these days, you know, you have to have good credit. And when we, um, okay, let me just finish off. So I got all of that established. I got my credit in line. I became the responsible adult that I was supposed to be coming, becoming, you know, I wasn't that bad guys. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't that bad, but when you keep slacking and slacking, slacking the stuff builds up, you know, it just like builds up and you know, you, you robbing Peter to pay Paul and you just, you know, it's just like a, a, a cycle. It's just, it's like a cycle. You keep pulling money here, you pay it back and then you go back and you take it out again. So, you know, I, I got that under control and, you know, I began to manage my life, uh, making sure that I owe no man nothing. And my credit, I, my, uh, uh, I, I have no debt. I have no debt in my life, but what I do have, is a secure line of credit, which means that um, this is money that um, I pulled out of my own personal, my, uh, my own, from out of my own uh, uh, money, and I placed it into a line of credit at my bank. If you have a bank, um, whatever bank you're banking from, you can go in and you can talk to your your, your bank uh, establishment and tell them that you want to open up a line of credit. And the line of credit can be for business, it can be for your own personal use, and you can put whatever amount of money you want into that. I took out $500, and I've always stayed at that $500. My $500 is in, now, I'm just going to say, let's just pretend this is a credit card. I ain't going to. I ain't, I ain't that stupid, guys. I ain't going to show you my credit card. <laughs> but let's just say this is the credit card, okay? This is the credit card. Once I went into my bank and uh, uh, opened up a line of credit, and you do have to be approved for it. Even though it's your money, you still got to make sure that your, your banking um, is, is okay. You know, you got to make sure you're able to, you know, to put the $500 in and, you know, and 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 or whatever amount of money you wish to. 200, 150, 5,000, 2,000, whatever the amount you choose, you know, that you still have good standings where you could put that money in. So anyhow, uh, uh, what they do once you, once you do that, you know, you can say, for instance, well, you know, you don't do, you know, you don't really have to, they're not going to look into seeing why and how you're spending your money. You know, you just tell them that you're interested in, in a personal secure line of credit because you don't want any credit cards out here where you're going to have to owe people back and they're going to be you, they're going to they're gonna be on your case about getting their money back. Now, the money with the secure line of credit is that you're using your money, my money. We're using our own money because this is money that we put into that secure line of credit. And what you can use it for is for your business. You can pull the money out. This is your expense. You will have a you will have a separate account. So you won't have to be going back into your personal account and saying, what did I spend? You know, if you're using your card, because a lot of times these days we're not using cash. 
we're all using credit cards now. And I use cash as much as I can. I'm going to be honest because I, you know, if I have it on me, I very rarely do have cash on me. But if I do have it, I'm going to spend that out first and then I'm going to use my line of credit because, you know, I just want to keep money into my account and not, um, and let that be there for when I actually really need it, you know, for an emergency or whatever um, it may be. Now, you can say, you know, or you can say to yourself, you know, I'm just going to use this for my my business. I'm just going to use this for my gift basket business. When I be out there charging it, charge it. <laughs> swiping your card, swiping your card, you know, tapping it, whatever you're doing, inserting it, whatever you're doing. You're taking money from out of that account and that count alone and then you want to make sure you pay your bill on time so a lot of times i don't buy anything but sometimes just 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 to keep the momentum going i might put something on credit i might buy you know like 30 dollars worth of stuff if i'm in the store you know i might want to pay my grocery bill you know i'll i'll put that in there so i can keep my credit going because guys this is what they look at at the credit bureau they want to see you um, purchasing something and then they want to make sure that you're paying it back in a timely manner. So if you're paying, let's say you spent $30, you know, for your, you know, you, you just bought something for your uh, good basket. You went to uh, 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 Dollar General and you done pinning it up, you don't, you don't spend about $40, $50 worth of stuff. You know, when you actually out and you got about maybe $200 worth of stuff in your car, but you only pay like maybe like $20 or something for it, $20, $40 for it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to pay that $40 off the next month because this builds your credit up. And this is how you build up your credit score as well. So it's a good way to build your credit score. And you just, you know, you don't have to spend $500. You don't have to spend whatever the expenses are for that month. Always make sure that you pay out that money. Even though it's your money, make sure you, you pay that next bill. Make sure you put something divided in half and pay something on that bill to keep your your expenses going, your your spending habits going, because this is what builds up your credit. If you're looking to buy a house, a car, and stuff like that, this is a good way to build up your credit. So I wanted to put this out here about the secure line of credit that you can go into your bank establishment and you say, look, I want to open up a line of credit. You know, I, I have a little gift basket business. I have a big, I have a gift basket business. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. I have uh, a business that I would like to um, have a separate account for. And um, I'm going to put X, Y, Z amount of money into that. So I wanted to, you know, to put that back out there, you know, to you guys, you know, I wanted to pinpoint this area because a lot of times we can get so caught up in the um, buying and we pull money and we pull money and we don't want to go into our own personal um, finances that's set aside for you know, the uh, other things that's going on in your life. And this is a good way to maintain and to monitor your spending habits when you have a business. So I hope this all makes sense to you all. You know, I've been on, I can't believe, almost 20 minutes, okay? Um, this is what I wanted to bring to you guys. And I want, uh, 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 I pray, I'm sorry, that this has made some sense to you guys. And that is very important to have a separate account and um, not continue to pull from your other finances that you have set aside. So this is a good way to do money management and to manage your money uh, when you're doing a, a business like this or any business, okay? All right, so this is it. I'm gonna jump off, guys. Um, you guys have an amazing day. Um, have a blessed day. And um, until the next video, you know, you guys be blessed, all right? Bye-bye.